Welcome to part three, nighttime. Monroe sailed on in darkness following the swan's voice, but he never saw a thing. Not the stars, not the swan, and certainly not the tree he got stuck in. <laughs> when the clouds lifted, the swan was gone, leaving Monroe alone in the middle of an immense forest. Oh, there's that statue. Since there was nothing else to be done. He jumped. That's a good idea. Splat. Oh, hello, Parky. Ah, oh, that's a really cool segue. Um, Parker. Ooh, look at that moon. Parker, I can't. Parker, you're making it even harder to see in an area where the entire gimmick is that it's hard to see. Parker, please get down. So that's the spooky statue that we just saw. I guess we're on this island now. And we shoot black blobs, which are very useful in this black forest. Oh, there we go. There's some light. Parker, please. He likes the motion. He likes scans with lots of movement. Oh! Well, that was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Parky? Parky, please. Sit. Why don't you just have a sit? Ah, tail! Parker, please! That's to swish his big allergen full tail at people. It's very tickly in it. Oh! Happy little spiders! That's nice. You know, little happy spiders and spikes. You know, they just want to be your friend. They just want to give you a nice little hug with their teeth. Mm. Ooh! Glowing eggplants. Neptune's worst nightmare. All right. Oh, the duck. I'm so glad the duck has like walked through 18 gallons of uh, golden paint. Nice little glowing mushrooms. I bet some interesting things would happen if you ate those. Oop. It does in fact, we do in fact have black paint for some reason. I guess just to not be not as helpful as any other color would be. Uh, that's where it just came from, right? Oh, wait, or is it? Oh, no, here's where we need to go. Oh, little forest. Well, I guess it was obvious we were in the forest. We just couldn't see any trees yet. I really like the atmosphere of this level. And it's a nice opposite to the uh, first level, where it was... Really bright, but you had to use paint. That sounds safe. It sounds like fun things are this way. Let's just head this way. Yeah, and this one, you know, everything's dark and the paint won't act, won't really help you that much. That seems like a nice place to be. Hi! Hi, friends! You wanna be my friend? You wanna be, I guess... They do seem like they wanna be friends, don't they? Hi! Blinking at me. Um, yeah, seems like a friendly place to hang out in. Oh, bye, friend. Um, I think that red aura means you're gonna die soon. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Face, that's my face. Don't hug that part with your teeth. Um, uh oh. Now give me the ball. Yes. Thank you. Oh, a nice little happy graveyard. How oh, fun. Oh, this is reminding me. I still need to play inside. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I will get it. I will play it. I was kind of behind on a lot of things. So some things that I just kind of need to be in the right mood for. Like, um... Uh... Abzu. I, I, I've been... I like... I worry about things too much. And so... Uh, there's something I know I'll like. But, but, but I want to do it right for a video, and then I just end up not doing it, and I do other stuff that I don't care as much about. It's, it's weird and dumb, but it's hard to stop doing. We seem to be getting close, pretty close to the statue. Just roll this glow ball down there. Whee! That's right, Parker, Wee! He's watching the uh, OBS preview. 
for anybody who records on their own, um, I pretty much find that OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, does all that I need in terms of both recording and streaming. I've completely cut out, well, almost completely cut out my other um, software. OBS is a little bit harder to learn than some other stuff, but really, really not a great deal harder. I, I really can't re recommend anything else for recording than uh, OBS. Bandicam I liked, and it's still alright, but it just doesn't have much point. Ooh! Is this death water? Uh oh, we can't jump into the water. So, I guess we better not get out of the range of the, the stuff. Hi friend. Hi friend. Um, yeah, OBS, quite good. Quite good, quite good. Woo! Splort. Drown. I guess you can get in the water if you go from here. What is this thing anyway? Oh, well. Yeah, I've been quite happy with OBS. It's given me some grief a few times. Uh, there's a couple occasions where I've had to just uninstall it or use a different profile. Because uh, settings get weird. But um, it's probably one of the best free software situations I've ever used in terms of open source stuff. Boop. Uh oh. Uh, better not make it go too fast. Ooh, what's that? Is that a key? Oh, it's a frog! Mr. Frogman! So the frog was black before. Uh, wait, maybe it wasn't. Maybe that's the frog I painted. No, that frog got pretty. Eaten. Slow down, Mr. Ball! Slow down! Oh crap. Slow down. Calm down. Ow, my face. My face. My whole face. It's gone. It's okay. I don't need a face. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What do you mean? Uh, maybe I can dislodge it. Ooh! Hi, Mr. Alligator! Don't eat my face! Hi, friend! Hey, 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 hey! Don't do this again. I'm gonna jump on the alligator. I'll probably just fall through it and die. Boop. Oh, no alligator this time. Uh oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's this? Alright, here we are. The king was tired of creating perfect kingdoms only to attract less than perfect subjects. He decided he'd have to leave a legacy the old-fashioned way, with a family. So he began to build one, starting with a house. I guess that's one way to look at it. Come on, ball. I think, we have to, I, think I still need you. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I think you need to go this way. No. Ball. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, I'm right here. Oh, you can get out of the water. That's nice. That's a nice touch. All right, here we go. This ball is like my companion cube friend. Oh, a lovely, horribly black house with like creepy everythings. Um, how do I get over here? Oh, here we go. Are we safe from the spiders, or...? Okay, I think the spiders have decided not to hug my face anymore. The king had never had much luck with people, so instead of trying to find a wife, he painted one. <laughs> when she opened her eyes, the king was astonished. He had created a female version of himself. <laughs> the king was in love. I guess that's the only way it could have really happened, isn't it? Ooh! Suddenly colors? Bloop. Part 3. Home! What is this? Ooh! Tetris blocks? Oh, we can make stuff now! Heck yeah, pick up the box! Wait, what? Okay. 
We got, he's got an outdoor pool. How cool is that? Oh. That is cool. I really like how this adds, you know, every level has something new. Uh, I guess it's, you know, sort of standard for design, but it's still very important to have. There we go. I was really liked. I, I tend to associate that sort of gameplay design with uh, Yoshi's Island. I've always found it really. Oh, only the blueprint stuff, I guess. I've always sort of associated that with uh, Yoshi's Island. Um, that sort of uh, gimmick, but in a good way sort of thing. Where every level has a new catch to it. And you gotta, you know, you learn a little something every level. Oh, hey! We built us some stairs. Some high quality, beautiful yellow stairs. The best variety of stairs. Oh, we got some eggplants in the house. You know, just in case you wanna, you're hungry for eggplant. You don't want to go outside. Convenient. Bursting with joy, the king locked himself in his workshop, painting gifts for his queen. He never saw her lack of interest, though she made no effort to hide it. The only gift she kept was his first, a little silver paintbrush. Interesting. <gasps> Doesn't that look a little familiar? That's just my imagination. I'm so glad we grew all of these glowing eggplants. Oh, part four of the nursery. These parts are a little short. I guess I'll just do this whole segment for one video. Oh, it's a little teddy bear. He's a little worse for wear now. Th there he goes. What's this? Oh, that's not a dra <laughs> Like, the drafting table is just a portal into the... Blueprint thingy. Every day the king painted a new room for the house, and every day he abandoned it as not good enough for his queen. While he slept, the queen spent her nights painting creatures of the forest, though she never finished a single one. Hmm. Five months went by before the king noticed she was pregnant. <laughs> uh oh, did I fall down? Did I fall boom? Yeah, I fell boom. Doesn't that sound... Doesn't that sound a little familiar? Painting animals, never finishing them. It's probably just my imagination. Whee! Splat. <laughs> I like this blueprint world. This is a really fun one. Whee! Also, just anything with dumb physics. It, it just kind of lets the player amuse themselves. Oh. That is... A starry abyss, okay. What is that? Tree roots? Oh my gosh. I can make things long distance. Long distance house making. Beautiful. Revolutionary. Building a, your own, your home with a sniper rifle. That's what, that's what I want in life. Just a sniper rifle that builds homes. Wait, what? There we go. No, no, there, there you go. Okay. I guess we're sort of building his home for him. This reminds me, I really want some, like, I think Ikea already made something kind of like this, but, like, virtual or augmented reality that sort of, like, let you design a home or, like, you know, interior decorating stuff, like, basically Animal Crossing stuff, but with, like, you know, planning for your real home. Like, I... I loathe doing too much stuff with my house, because it's a lot of work, and it's expensive, and... And I never can decide on anything. But if it was like Animal Crossing, I could just be like, screw around and see stuff. And like, you know, even if eventually I would have to, you know, make it for real. Is this one of those gingerbread gazebos? Or peppermint gazebos, rather. 
We can just protrude spikes from the ceiling. Okay. Um. All right. I guess we're going up to the bell tower. Um, but yeah, I think that would help me a lot, even if it's just, you know, only for planning purposes, obviously. Um, being able to see what crap would look like in my own home, not like, you know, some sample home. I think it's a little too short. Ah, oh, just barely too short. There we go. But I really like when games, you know, Introduce something new and significant every, like, you know, every level or so to, whatever, so to speak. It really gives, um... It makes you not want to give up. It makes things, it keeps things from being samey. Oh, we can see some of the seams in there. Oh, I'm gonna blame the king on that. Whee! Physics! Physics! Sorry, I love physics. They're very good. Let's see what's outside first. No, it's just sort of a balcony view. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Actually, that's 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 actually very useful. Thank you. Wait. What if we do this? Oh. Sure. That's how physics work. Boop. <laughs> That was accidentally useful. Alright. Slide this out. Uh, that's a little too tall. Oh, that is like just barely too tall. Like, he moves and like tries to go up. There we go. But it's just a little bit too much. Alright. Alright. All right, we need the ladder, so... Come all the way out. There we go! I like the drawings of vases and crap. Yeah, you know, planning! What's out the window? And just some stars. Aren't very practical stairs, my friend. I guess the king has problems finishing things, though. Always finishing early, so to speak. All right. What's this? Ooh. Oh, it's a little observatory. Nice. Well, I guess observatories aren't really little, but uh, whatever. And it's... what's this? Oh, I guess it flew into there. Oh, there's the moon! Alright, I'm probably supposed to be in there, not out here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We're upside down. <laughs> Journey reference. Hello there, Journey. Oh, hello, spooky moon friend. <laughs> I like that the kid says, hey. What? What is the king? What's the red in the king's mouth? Um. Are we supposed to, like, go to it? Like, from here? Oh. Maybe? Suddenly, portal flashbacks. Oh, I know, we already read that one. Wait, what? Oh, all of that just for this? Okay. Back to the house. A little bit dilapidated, don't you think? Oh, there's that statue. It's got like a big red nose. Well. 
I guess there's nothing to fear with no spiders running around to eat my face. Where are these peppermint gazebos? These these are not peppermint gazebos. These are boring wooden gazebos. These are not delicious. These are not Excalibur or what? Where did Excalibur come from? On the night <gasps> before the queen was to give birth, Swan. she left. All she took was a single unfinished painting. When the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. Maybe the explanation is that you're a freaking massive jack butt of a king? You know? I like that they like float and sink. Oh, what a nice. I love like just slightly surreal or fantasy sort of water. You tell him, bird! You tell him. Oh, it's like spooky prison walls. Y you'd think he would, like, finish the rest before... Oh, whatever. We're gonna go up there, and there's gonna be that Colossus fight from, um... I barely got in the boat. I don't think I was supposed to press that when I was here. Whatever. It, it worked. But yeah, it, we're gonna go up there and it's gonna be the Colossus fight from um, God of War 2. The King's Monument. For nine years, the King didn't paint a thing. Then, he had a vision. A colossal monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, <laughs> when his powers began to fail. Uh oh. That's not good. You didn't even build the frickin' access way properly. This king, I want, I want to recount. This is a pretty bad king, I've got to say. The king never finished another painting. The hippo. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. <laughs> Same. He's been trapped inside it ever since. Oh shit. That is actually horrifying. Okay, speaking of horrifying, why are there alligator clips? Okay. So, stepping over those wires is apparently fine. It's a giant... What? Well, I guess he wanted to protect it, but like... I don't know. Looks more like a prison than an art installation. Is that a lemon? That is a lemon. What? Oh. The water is rising. What? The lemon was- it was a load-bearing lemon. We're all doomed. This lemon is keeping the statue alive. Okay. Okay. So, it was... It's that old science experiment where you, you, you plug in some alligator clips into a lemon and then, you know, you build a giant, like, monument to yourself powered by the lemon. And then you burn his house down with the lemons! That's right, Parker! Do you want to burn his house down, Parker? I guess we sort of... Uh-oh. Oh. There we go. That's how you do it. We didn't burn his house down with the lemons. We, uh... I guess we sunk his house with the lemons. <laughs> Some very mustache-focused... He's a very mustache-focused individual. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, Kingy! Uh, sorry, I kind of drowned... Uh, the entire world? Perhaps? Um, this is looking kind of biblical. This is not like just this island is dead. I think this is like everyone is dead. I think like global warming's got nothing on this one. Uh oh. What? Oh, the goose! Save me, goose! Oh, you jerk! Oh! <laughs> Rip. I accidentally hit the thing. Oh my god. Um. 
Nah, I'm just gonna wait for the water to claim me. Okay, right back here. <laughs> that was amazing. Wait, where are we going? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's his nostril! Ew! You just gotta climb up in that nostril. And just pray that the water stops. Oh, hey, it's that room that we saw earlier. As Monroe stood there trying to think of something to say, the statue shuddered and the hatch slammed shut. Uh-oh. And now there was no oh, dang. more need for talking. The king was awake. Oh, crap. Well, next time we'll see what the king has to say.